All right, hello and welcome back. This is uh, our next tutorial with HostGator C panel. Now you should have received your email with your um, username and password so that you can log in to your C panel, which is where all the magic happens on your HostGator account. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And Padal. This is the HostGator C panel. Now there's all kinds of things that you can do from here, but the only two things that we want to focus on is we want to get our name servers so that we can put them in our uh, GoDaddy. So make sure you have your GoDaddy uh, account up. In fact, I'm going to go there now and I am going to pull that up. I'm going to sign in. and then I'm going to go to my domains and I'm going to find the domain that we uh, worked on and that is iMogul Television oh, there, oops, I passed you there you are, iMogul Television, we're going to manage hit manage iMogul Television, it's going to take us to the settings page And we're going to scroll down to name servers. And we're going to manage, click manage name servers. Okay. And we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to do the custom. And we're going to enter custom name servers. Okay. So now we're going to go back to HostGator control panel and we're going to scroll down it's going to be on the left hand column that we're looking at sidebar I guess you can call it and at the very bottom you're going to see where it says name servers we need to copy those two lines of code and we need to copy and paste them each line into the GoDaddy so I'm going to do one at a time I'm going to copy the top one and I'm going to paste it in the top server line there and then I'm going to go get the second one and then I'm going to go back and copy it to GoDaddy and I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to hit and now it says HostGator and then I'm going to hit save all right, so the request that shows at the right hand top has been submitted. It's going to take a few minutes for it to take effect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create our WordPress. Now, let me go over to WordPress.org so you can see that. This is WordPress.org and this is where you can if you were just downloading it you can download a fresh um, copy of uh, wordpress.org into uh, download it onto your computer if you need to if you need to switch out your wordpress for whatever reason but this is how you would do it outside of a, if you didn't have a hosting and you had maybe your own servers you would download it and then upload it from your computer that way and it goes in to tell you about HostGator. HostGator has been around, I mean I'm sorry, WordPress.org has been around for a long time and you own it. Once you, you know, you you get your um, hosting account this is your online home it's your online hub your website your blog whatever you want to call it it's your online hub that's where you're going to do your activities that's where you're going to do your blogging that's where you're going to attract your your um, ideal clientele you're going to have your branding this is where you the magic is created so you don't want to do something like this with a wordpress.com or some blogspot.com you don't want to host your account well you won't host it because it's free but you don't own it you want something that you own and wordpress.org is the originator it's been around forever um, at least 2006 I'm not sure what the history 2005 maybe earlier there's a lot of other new um, apps for blogging apps posting or website apps posting like um, I think it's 
a square peg or there's all kinds of new ones popping up and a lot of those are limited on what you can do with web wordpress.org you're not limited you can do whatever your mind can think of and that's why I love it also a lot of the plugins and we'll talk about plugins in a later tutorial a lot of the plugins have been made and designed all the good stuff have been designed for wordpress.org and plugins what plugins do they're little bits of code that help to add or de design certain things on your web page on your on your on your blog and sometimes you want to do something different you want to add some creativity you want to add some specialization on your blog that's what a that's what a plugin does and a lot of these new systems don't have that option because the since wordpress.org has been around for so long it's a free um uh what do they call it it's a free community where people can create for wordpress and they've done that and that's where the plugins have come in and I love plugins I mean I use the hell out of plugins um, sometimes it can cause trouble with incompatibility but it's it's not like it was when I first came on where you put a plugin that wasn't quite compatible with another plugin and it broke your whole site and all hell all you saw was code lines of code when you tried to log into your account now things are so much easier it's plug and play nowadays you don't have to learn any kind of code or anything like that it's awesome sauce. So I just wanted to show you WordPress.org. So how we're going to download the WordPress.org app, we're going to go back into, now that we have our na name savers directed to HostGator, our URL is now directed to HostGator, and we're going to, um, we're going to pull up our WordPress.org. And there's a quick and easy way that they do it now that they didn't used to do it before. And let me see if I can find that line do, 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 do. it's one click it's over here it is here it is one quick install it's under the software services tab down by the bottom and it's a quick install so we're going to click on that it should just log you in automatically Let's see if I have to press login anyway. Okay, I'm back. I've added my add-on account. There's a, a little extra stuff you have to do. Now, um, because you won't have to do that when you signed up for your hosting package, um, you put your domain name in there after you paid for it, uh, when you went in and you set it up and you created your payment and paid for it you put your hosting packet or your URL in there um, at that time so it should show up when you go in to your WordPress to create your WordPress account so um, I'm gonna go back into my WordPress account and hopefully this has worked <laughs> I'm gonna install my WordPress account and then I'm gonna go over here to look for my and there it is iMogul television yay there she blows um, I'm gonna use my random email my normal email we're gonna call it iMogul iMogul television oops I can't even spell television and April oops I am the admin and then <coughs> first and last name alright so there we go I found I um, so I located my my uh, URL which yours should be in there you shouldn't have to do an add-on like I had to do and then I put my uh, filled out my information here username and I put uh, admin user as me and then I'm just gonna hit install WordPress and they are setting it up now okay it says your install is complete click here to view your notifications so I'm going to click there and this is where they I don't like the way they do this um, on a with a, a, a light box or whatever you want to call this but I'm gonna copy all of this they're going to mail this to me, but I'm going to copy all of this so that I can um, make sure I paste it and email it to myself. But I'm going to go directly, I'm going to click directly to my WordPress panel 
and then we're going to log in. So as it's stated, my username is April. So when I go in, I'm going to put my username, and then I'm going to put... <coughs> they give you a password, which of course you're going to change. This is not going to be the password you want to keep. All right. So copy that. And let me just go in and once again copy all of this and paste it in a notepad really quick so that I don't forget. <sighs> okay. So just in case we lose that page and then we're going to log in. And voila. Voila. That is, I'm going to hit save. That is, this is our WordPress, WordPress dashboard. Okay, so now in the next video, we are going to start customizing, looking for a theme and customizing our website. And um, so I'm really super excited for the next videos. This, the the, the, the uh, icky part is over with. This is the fun part where we actually get to design our uh, website. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.